Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dino Crisis Blind, where we last left off. We made quite a bit of progress to make up for like the previous episode, which we, we made no progress. And so our now our now our, our, our current objectives, our new objectives, right? So we have some items we can use. What's up? Pretty sure that we already read this. Okay. Okay. Currently, let's let's turn the quickly. Okay, I have my I have my volume on max for some reason. Um. Okay, we have a small size key which can open a door. I believe where Tom was. As well as we have these panel keys, which are in the chief's room where the T-Rex attacked. I couldn't really figure out how to use them, but we were told, I believe, that the number is on the panel keys. If I'm correct. Oh. Okay, let's, uh, let's really look at my inventory again. And the key card R, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure that there are going to be dinosaurs on every angle. That's pretty cool. A, A through Z. What is it? A through L or something. I'm going to sort it out. Sure. I'll take it for now. Okay, map. So we want to head back. So we want to be heading south. Because we want to... I don't think it's that much of a backtrack, but... Okay. This could be a run for our lives, folks. So let's be careful. Yeah, that's some dinosaurs. Those are some dinosaurs. Whoa. Oof. I'd rather take that little zap than those buddies. Than those buddies. Probably now. Okay. Yeah, this was with the uh, the elevator room, wasn't it? Okay. So I'm, trying, I'm trying to remember where. Okay, I think Tom. Uh, okay, let's um. Yeah, I think I know where he is. But we can't, but we can't open that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's through there, but we can't open that. Uh. Yeah, it's. Hmm. Okay then. You, you, you can go up to the first floor level. Will you go up? Oh, yes, I will. Imagine, like, the, the, that small key might only... You know, it might only give you, like... Hmm, sad. It, 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 if we get back there, and it turns out it's just one of those... Anesthetic aids or whatever. That would be... The game, the game would be making fun of us. Yeah, let's uh, where was the, the, the chief's room? Was that even on the first floor? I feel that might have been like on the. Because I'm trying to think of like, that's where the T Rex attacked us. So I know that it was like by the window at the very least. Yeah, you know, I think it would have to be on like the first, on like the second floor, wouldn't it? Is this where is this where it just came from? 
Yes. Um, wait. You know, this newly opened elevator hall. Oh, yeah, that, not, okay, now we just head north when we get back to the, to the stairs. Yeah, got some stuff here. I'm gonna trade these. Wait, yep, I'm gonna trade the slag for some shotgun bullets. We just come around 20, 20 full shotgun bullets, fellas. That's enough to, I think, kill, assuming you hit, that's enough to kill four dinosaurs. But I do want to, like, save them up a little bit. You know, you never know when there's going to be a boss or something. We still haven't had any bosses or anything, which is interesting. If this game, I wonder if this game would even... I have to imagine there's probably some sort of encounter with a T-Rex fella even if it's like some sort of like you know, I feel like this game wouldn't really go for like you know the full turret sequence or, or some of like that but I feel like there's got to be some sort of thing that you can consider a boss at some point yay oh boy oh that's nice oh yeah this is it Yeah, I love that camera. It's cool. Look at the wind. Look, I feel the wind. Yeah, let's look at this. Yeah, so the... Shield is on the left. Yep, that's what it is here. I'm just going to write this down. Okay. S O L, and then I think it was like L. What was it? S O L. L-E-O. And so if you reverse that, it becomes 705. I'm curious, like, is it reversing, is it just reversing the letter, like, the actual letters themselves, or is it... Like, would this become 730, or would this become 037? I'm just going to write it down, okay, 03, or 730, 507. Oh, now, there is a 5, right? Let me just go back again. Hopefully I'm actually on the right track here. It is 7.05. So let's, let's try this again. You know, I think it was like if you, if you put them in like the wrong order, they wouldn't even go in. Like this, this thing wouldn't pop up. So this is the the right position. I'm pretty sure. And so let's see. So I'm just gonna try seven o five. Oh, three, seven. Nice. <laughs> that feels good. The letter L. Key card L. So I'm assuming, if you remember, 
there was a point, I think around where like, around where we ju where ju we just were earlier in that library, like that annex area, um, there was a place where you could put two card keys, I think, and I'm pretty sure this is probably, you know, left and right. Let's head on back. We can just get past this old buddy. I wonder if that actually marks us on a marks it on our map for us or something. Does not. Go down. We're going down, down. In an early round. Okay, so. Now. I will choose to head. Okay, we could go to the elevator, but instead, at first, I want to try. I'm gonna go west. I wanna try to see what that. If we can find. If we can use this small key. If I am right about. Where it was pressed, placed and whatnot. That lock. Oh, hello, buddy. It, it, is, it does seem to. um. It seems that they reset. I think that might be the wrong room. Pretty sure they reset. Yeah. Or do they? Let's see. I feel like they they reset the um the lasers every once in a while because if I had come in from the other side, or maybe maybe not. Maybe just because I had because I'm about to press the switch, you know, the the laser is gonna turn off. And I'm not, it's not like I'm gonna press it, put, put it back on, because I always felt that the, the the positioning of the lasers always was in my favor. That might just be like a coincidence. Ooh, you know what? Let's just use that uh, med pack that we got earlier. Nice. Okay. Or what was that? The med pack we got earlier? Who can say? Oh. Station. Okay. We want to head north. No, we want to head. We want to head south. Yes. Progress, schmogress, you know what I'm saying? Who needs to save? As if the great psychomantis would say, I'm a very reckless fellow. Let's head to the stairs. Head to the stairs. Yeah. Oh, is a... I, I can never do the thing where, like, I know there are people that walk up, like, st skip stairs when they walk on staircases, which, um, if it's a, going upstairs, you know, I could, I, I could get behind, but going downstairs, I'm just afraid, like, for, for going downstairs is something that I've always had a fear of, especially, like, going down escalators and whatnot, like, was this, this was the right place, was it? Oh, sure. Uh, a what? Is this something that you, know, you can only choose one? I'll tell you a resuscitation. That, did that use it up? 
It does, looks like it did. Let's just uh, see what's, what's on the right. Multiplier. Wow. At least we know that's there. It's a bit of a... I guess the, the multiplier, you know, that stuff might be, you know, like pretty good, like if you're playing legitimately and not abusing state states like I am. But, for, you know, for me, who's uh, expecting a little bit more... At least some ammo. At least some ammo would have been appreci appreciated, even even though like, I barely used any. Okay. Just keep on going on. Could use the uh, elevator shaft as well, but I'll just keep going. Or uh, vent ventilation shaft as well. I do like wonder like what those dinosaurs are like, what are they doing in those rooms like I guess some, sometimes we, we, we walk in on them sleeping but like that fellow there was he just still on alert from when I was there before was he trying to find something to eat like some sort of like a mouse or something like was he what's, what's life like for those dinosaurs so I'm facing east let's head south oh that's not no wait no that's north, wait. Yeah, if I'm facing east... I'm trying to think of, uh... East... Yeah, that, yeah, that'd be north. <laughs> yeah, south. So this... So that one there is broken. Least little elevator sequence up there with a uh, metal, the metal, the uh, elevators in Metal Gear Solid. Okay, so now, pretty sure we want to yet want to keep going north. Ooh, scary! Oh, yep. See, see, that's not what. I'm, like I felt like it's, it works in my favor that. Yeah, because I think yeah, last time I left the lasers on because I was running away from them. So I guess, yes, maybe it does keep your keep the lasers at whatever they were. Ugh, not sure what he. I think he must have hit another laser or something. I was just being clumsy. Oh, I'm. Nice. Now there's something in here, which there was not before. That's really well, that's the real reason I feel like I'm afraid to use ammo is just because the, the game just seems to spawn in new zombies. Or not zombies, dinosaurs. And so I feel like using ammo would be kind of, just all of it would be waste or something. Fellas just whipped his, whipped his head back. Disappeared. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's some. Oh, oh nice. Okay. I live. Now, where was the. Uh... This is what. That's like the, the gas room. Where was that thing where, um... For some reason, I, I seem to remember the whole two cards... ...thing being in here, or being around here. This might have been it. 
Look on the looking on the map though. It's not like there's hmm. Yeah, let's see, like it's not like there was a uh Can I do anything with this? Can we get a, we get a s s screwdriver? Did I already u use it? Oh, this is it. This is it. I was almost like, like, like if I didn't see that, I, I honestly might have like just like freaking just wandered over throughout the entire game again. If we're the, the entire map. Oh, you'll need assistance. Will you call Gale? I guess I don't really have a choice. I wonder if that's actually something that, that is actually... I, f I finally made it to the entrance of the doctor's lab. Good work. The door looks like it needs two people working in tandem to unlock it. Sit tight. I'll be right there. Like, what are like if you, if you choose not to call him, if it should call someone else? Here, take this. Ready? Okay, on three. One, two, three. Very, very nice. How you doing? You're all clear. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Not, it's not, is it, not only is it there's a, a door, but uh, not only do you need those keys, but you also need the DDK thing. I hope, hope this better be. Yeah, we have E. I'm just, I'm just gonna look, look at the map. We're facing east, so I guess this is just not marked on the map, I guess. Okay. The. So what was it? So yeah, it can be that the the numbers can be representations of letters, or it could be like delete all the letters in that column. So the the bibba. So A would be so so one would be A two. So delete that. Delete. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. E R. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I think I see it. Because yeah, if you delete, if you like ignore all the columns, right? From one to three, or like from one to five, then you have E. Then you have E and R left. If you delete seven, then you have E N R G. Right. So it's it, it basically it spells energy. Clever. Oh, well, that's not. Wow. Feels good. Let's go. Hmm. Asking to save that. I guess that is a save room, so like, you know, it makes sense, but... I wonder if something bad's about to happen. Experiment simulation room. The heck? Little time... time uh, Space time, continuum, warper, sucking in dinosaurs. <laughs> Some kind of simulator. There are three switches on the panels. A or alpha. <laughs> Ignite the third energy circuit. Set the initializer. Set the stabilizer.
Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Let's ignite the third energy circuit. Set the initializer to stabilizer. I have no idea. I have zero idea. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I guess you could say it's, it's all Greek to me, if you know what I'm saying. Assuming that there, there might be some sort of file or something in this room to help me out. What is this? Shotgun stocks. By attaching it, the time lag for reloading is eliminated. Huh. Fire the... Let's try that. When it says reloading, does that mean like actual... Let's, let's see that. Nice. Makes the enemy sleep. So I have to imagine, are those darts... I'll have to like look it up. I'll look it up after this video. So I'm curious to see those if those darts are actually like do they? Uh, uh, my fear about it, like the reason I like, haven't really tried using them is just like I'm just worried that like the second you, you know, leave the room and come back, they're gonna be awake again or some of that. And and because like the whole game is kind of based around you know you're kind of going back and forth from the same places, I feel like it'd just be kind of useless. But let's just see what this is, see what this is like. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I didn't really use the original shotgun that much, so I'm not sure. Like, it's, it's not like I'm like, oh man, this is so much better, but it seems alright. The locus of the energy efficient efficiency is shown by the th three-dimensional graph. Okay. These panels display the record. No, th th these panels display record. Display record the working conditions of the simulators. And Dart L. Yeah, I want to try that next time I come across one of those buddies. Our little friends, if you will. What do you know? There's a. You know, in, in the. In the area where there's some sort of puzzle-like thing, there's also a, a file in the same room. It is easy to unleash any kind of power. That's a you know, start of a start of an, a, a novel or something. The real task is keeping the power under control. The improvement of the initializer and ignition device has enhanced energy efficiency to the maximum. Despite that progress, we have been unable to advance the development of the stabilizer safe safety valve since the accident that happened three years ago. The third energy theory will surely alter human history drastically. But as long as there is an uncertain element regarding the control of this power, even if it is only 0.1% of a probability, my work will be nothing but a terrible failure. The restraining power of the stabilizer we used in tonight's experiment was inefficient. The areas affected by the excess excess energy is estimated to be a radius of 3,300 feet. The, th the results of tonight's experiment may please the military people in a sense. The giant the giant monsters that emerged just after the experiment have given me so much inspiration. Given me much inspiration. The most important thing to do right now is to leave here safely. As soon as I finish analyzing the data, I'll evacuate I'll evacuate via the bottom floor. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't really tell us too much as the what we're meant to be doing here. But it that was kind of an interesting read, I guess. I'll try to look at the map. No, stop on the map. Okay. Dr. Kirk's personal terminal. It is used to analyze data 
and can be used to release the emergency evacuation hatch. Huh. So Dr. Kirk, Dr. Kirk was quite the character. For security, it's sealed by several electronic locks. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to do something here then, I guess. I guess maybe it's supposed to be like the um the, the order in which they're mentioned in here. This doesn't really seem to be. Let's do initializer stabilizer. Wait, let's just try. Maybe it doesn't really. Maybe the order doesn't really actually matter. Initializer has been set. Oh. Hmm. What? Because there's not enough energy for the simulation, the system cannot be started. What? There's not enough power. Is there, is there anything we can do here then? That's a bit anticlimactic. Hmm. Or if I leave, like there will be another. Like a cutscene all over. Yep, yep. He's not here. Why? This operation is taking way too long already. Warning. The emergency system has been activated. Uh oh. Emergency lockdown in progress. What's going on? Oh. Kirk must have tripped off the security system. That fool. Oh, I love, I love like the final boss is like just like face to face with this Kirk fella. Work the dastardly. What's wrong with this thing? Cool it, Gale. We'll find a way out somehow. Right, so we got emergency, emergency situation going on. Yeah. All right. Energy supply control system. I think this is this asking okay so we need to match it up wait what hmm oh, so, oh man this is actually okay, a bit more difficult than I was really expecting because so you want Hmm. Here we go. Yep. And then we want... I think this might be it. If I turn this around like this. Yep. No. Some, I don't know what just happened there. Oh, okay. So, it's like, okay, okay. So, we... That didn't work because of uh, the overlap of the thing. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right. Like we have the the right one down there right now. I feel like yeah, that just messes it up. Hmm. Let's just yeah, take that one out for now. Like it can't be that one because like the top left's messed up. Hmm. Oh wait. Oh man. Oh man. Actually, clever. This is like a, a, there's like another layer to this where there's like the order that you put them in even matters because it they overlay on top of each other. Oh man. So I'll go do that, and do that. Yeah, it wouldn't work yet. Um, okay, so I wanna... Do you... You... And then you... No. Wait, fail. You... You, you. Oh, wait. You, you, you. No, wait. What, what am I doing? What's it? You, you, you. Okay, something's going on here. Okay. Hmm. This is right, right? Uh, okay, so we need that to here. What? Are you serious? Oh, what? There's actually no... Wait a second. Yeah, there, there, there's no... Hmm. We need something on the... On the bottom. Okay, this is like that. Not like okay. Is the, yeah, the bottom right wasn't like n like we had nothing that would actually fit on the bottom right. Now it could also be this one. this right no wait still okay oh man because that one that one there's a straight up black on the bottom oh there we go let's see this no that, that wouldn't be it There we go. A little, little, little puzzle. The emergency lockdown has been bypassed. You have ten minutes until this section is sealed off. 
We'd better get moving. We've bypassed the door lock and we're on our way out. That's great. But the entire underground area is crawling with dinosaurs. You'll never be able to make it through there. Don't sweat it. I'll take them all out one by one if I have to. Brilliant plan, Fearless Leader, but I have a better one. These readouts tell me there's an emergency escape hatch in the dock's private quarters. You should be able to make a clean break through there. Are you sure? Yeah, but there's one problem. The hatch is password locked through the mother system. Forget it. If you can't crack the code before the dinosaurs rush in, we'll be completely trapped. I know. You just have to trust me. I don't. Fine. What about you, Gina? Hmm, did you ask us? Yeah, Gail, break through the area relying upon your skill. Cooperate with Rick and escape through the hatch. So basically, I think our options there were where we can basically just kind of go well, guns blazing, just fighting with all the, all the dinosaurs. Or we can kind of go, go for a peaceful route, but it seems that we have to like hack, pa hack some sort of code. I'm gonna go with get with Rick because you know he seems to, he seems to be our buddy. You know he seems to be rather a good fella. I'm curious to see what what that would have been like to go with Gale. See, so we can make a new file, sure. I think this is probably, probably referring to this here, is it? You can release the emergency hatch with this computer terminal. Will you operate? Okay. Got it. I just cracked into the mother system. Good, good work. That was really pretty easy. CB. You cross? Yes. That, that, that sound does not sound like a like a you did it sound. Oh, a a blank. Oh man, what? A D B D D. F C Oh what? A D Oh man the, the, the blanks Messed me up, okay Oh, this is um, the first one again. <laughs> so I'm curious what would have actually happened there, like, if we would have like, been, been forced to go with Gale then. I guess like, if I not. But, uh, cheating fellow. Okay. So, so now that I know that it's only. It's only the, um. The, the blanks don't actually matter. Like I thought, I was like gonna ask us like to input the position of the thing. Oh, F, B, F, B, F, A, B, C. What? D. I don't think that was the same code as before. F, 
be because that, that one I I'll, I'll, I I did let write down as it as it um appeared. F uh, F B F A B C D. Well, what is that seriously? Oh well, wow. I like went over. It was so long. Oh, one more. But what F D E B A C C C F D E B A C C C Nice. Uh, you just put the de de detonation codes of some nuclear bomb. <laughs> it sounded like he coughed or something at the end there. It sounded like this area was going to be sealed off, so I'm curious what that actually what that meant. Hopefully we can still get back here and access our stuff. Hold it. Dr. Is that Kirk? We've come to help. Oh, what? We're representatives from your nation's government. My nation? <laughs> I'm touched. And what do you government agents want with me? Shut up. You're coming with us if I have to knock you out and drag you back myself. According to the government, I'm officially deceased, correct? That's the way you want it. When did I just rose to kill on the way here, Gil? So what'll it be, genius? Relax, agent. My study is nearing its final stages. Magnificent, isn't it? But I can't leave before I've analyzed the final results. I don't give spit about your results. I'm taking you back under orders, so shut up and follow me. Regina, locate the communication facility and call in the extraction chopper. You can't do this! I have rights! According to command, your government property, pal. I suggest you take it up with them. Am I being detained? No, they can't do this to me! They deserted me three years ago and now they want me back? This is preposterous! Shut up. Then shoot me, you idiot. You lame, flat top, jaw headed. Oh, man. Shut up. Where's the communication room? Oh, boy. Don't do it. Take the elevator up from the control room. I need a card to access that elevator. I know you've got one. Hand it over, Doc. So, we're all set then. I'll meet you at the heliport. Hey, wait, where are you going? I have a little unfinished business to take care of. I'll drop this guy off with Rick. Now get moving. Unfinished business? Okay then. So our goal is... Okay. That is where, that's where Rick usually was, wasn't it? Wait, and that's also, okay, and this is also marked on our map. I don't know what that unfinished business he was talking about was. Did he, did he give us a key card? Cause he, he meant like, he mentioned that key card that we needed. Who was this? What I mean to, uh, funny how, how like it asks you, are you sure you want to take the elevator for those for that little indoor elevator? But here, you know, you're, you're just going. Map. Okay. 
Where did this come from? I'm curious where, where, you know, just... Huh. Okay, so I guess... We, we have been here, right? Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is... Yeah, okay. Okay, then. Which, which direction should we head? Yeah, I actually don't think we can... Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do here. This is where we first met Gale, or um, Tom. I think we actually need to head head down. I think I'm gonna call the video because we're getting pretty long. Next time, folks, we'll be be we'll, we'll have gone down this ele elevator. I'll uh, save you the trouble of watching me go down yet again. But uh, till next time, that's been some Let's play Dino Crisis Blind Liquid Out. <laughs>